what do we do with people connecting to work data on their phones and how do we protect that, right? Because if you've got people using their phones for work, even if it is a personal device, you wanna make sure that you've got that device locked down properly so you don't have any risk of business data disappearing from the business. Okay, so managing mobile phones and devices in your business, how do you handle these? Do you provide the device and pay for network costs or do your staff bring their own devices and does the business compensate them in some manner? For most of our staff, they don't actually use their mobile devices in our business because we use a system called Dialpad. Now, Dialpad is a business phone system and that allows us to have an app running on our phones that effectively gives each person a business line. And with that business line, they can then choose which customer they're gonna call and the customer never sees that person's mobile phone number. The only thing that it might consume on their phone is mobile data, but most of our staff are working from an office location or a co-working space or a home office primarily, and so they're gonna have access to their Wi-Fi, so they don't need to use the 4G connection on their phone. They're just downloading the app and then they're able to use that for calls. So that's calls taken care of. But this is a good question because it opens up the possibility of, well, what do we do with people connecting to work data on their phones and how do we protect that, right? Because if you've got people using their phones for work, even if it is a personal device, you wanna make sure that you've got that device locked down properly so you don't have any risk of business data disappearing from the business. And so Google's got some pretty cool tools inside Google Workspace for mobile device management. And inside the mobile device management menu, you can actually use that to lock down some of your devices. So let's take a look at what that looks like. The heading along to my admin panel at admin.google.com. It's gonna allow me to enter my mobile device settings. So if I go to my devices menu and then mobile and endpoints, you can see here, I can see all the devices that are connected to my account. I can see what kind of device they are. I can see who owns the device or who's registered the device. I can also see when the last time it synchronized and when it was first connected as well. Now in here, I can actually go into our settings for both Android and iOS. They're handled differently. There's also, you can see their Windows settings if you wanna connect computers, but that's a topic for another day. And here inside our menu for our mobile device settings, you can see that I can start to set certain settings, certain configurations for mobile devices that connect to my business. Now, here's some of the ones that you might wanna do as the basics. You probably wanna make sure that everybody has a password enforced on their device so that they are protecting your company data if they accidentally leave their phone on a train or you know they lose it or leave it at a restaurant. You don't want someone to be able to open that phone and automatically get access to all of your business data. So you wanna make sure that the phone is locked down. Second, you can choose to do things like enforce encryption on the device. You could make sure that their backups are encrypted. So if there's any company data or company files that might be downloaded to the device, in the case that someone else gets their hands on the device, well, there's less likely to be a security breach there. Some of the other cool things that you can do if you wanna get a bit more advanced is integrate with third-party device management applications to do things like push down Wi-Fi settings, maybe even you know, change the background of the phone. There's lots of different options there or you know even pushing down certain apps that you definitely wanna have installed on the phone. Google's mobile device management feature actually has quite a bit that you can do straight out of the box. But if you wanna get into some of more of the advanced features, particularly with Android, you need to be on the Business Plus plan inside of Google Workspace. So it might be time to consider upgrading to Business Plus to get access to more features here. Now, for executives in the business, we do pay their phone bill. That's just something that we have as an expense for the company. But usually we're not using that many calls on our mobile devices anymore. We make most of our phone calls using the Dialpad app. And that gives us a business line that if customers need to call us, they can use the business line. It's nicely branded. And it also means that everyone has a consistency. If a staff member leaves the business and someone comes in to replace them, we don't have the awkwardness of a staff member with a personal mobile being given out to our clients. The clients just know our business lines and they just call the business line anytime there is help needed. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack, 
or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.